Finding your purpose, that changes everything. Absolutely, that is what we are going to talk about today. Lenny Winnerstrom and one of my tools that I use in helping you to find your purpose and understanding who and what you really are and all that fun stuff is Dr. Chad Helmstetter's book, 365 Days of Positive Self-Talk for Finding Your Purpose. And I read a passage to you every single day because he has 365. He actually has 366 because it's a leap year. So he has an extra one. So anyway, so don't worry in case you have a leap year. You have everything you need in this book to keep you finding your purpose. <laughs> and the very cool thing about this is it's all the self-talk, self-talk phrases, and they're very positive, very powerful. So let's talk about, well, first, let me just start with, today is April 29th, 100, day 120. There are 246 days left in the year. In 2024, we are 32.79% complete with the year. So as we roll and down the highway of the year of 2024, don't mind me, I'm just here lounging in my daughter's backyard with all her traffic, which uh, is one of the reasons why I left here. <laughs> Many moons ago, I could not meditate or anything in our beautimous backyard. Look, it's turning very, very beautiful. Beautimus, I keep. We haven't, um, here, we haven't um, planted everything yet, but there's our little greenhouse, and it has all kinds of fun stuff in there, like aloe and, and uh, comfrey and fun things, and tomatoes and other stuff. Okay, so here we go. I got a little distracted thinking about all the planting and all the things I, I could do. <laughs> okay, April 29th. I don't just hope to find my greatest purpose and meaning. I search for it, I pursue it, and I am determined to find it and bring it to life. Do, do, do. That's a very important thing to do, to uh, search for it. So if you haven't found it yet, this passage is for you. In fact, this passage is, the all these passages are always for you. And everything I do, it's for you here on this channel. So I don't just hope to find my greatest purpose and meaning. I search for it, I pursue it, and I am determined to find it and bring it to life. So finding your purpose changes everything. This is one of Dr. Shad's notes in this book. So if life were about getting by, then having a purpose would not be essential. You could just get by. But it's clear that life and our reason for living, living it goes far beyond just getting through it. Imagine two people who are equal in almost every way. One of them has no real direction in life. He isn't aimless, but he isn't a big goal setter either. He gets by. He does okay, has a decent life, doesn't cause problems, and lives an average existence. He doesn't spend a lot of time thinking about his purpose or what he could have done with his life, but he gets through it. And one day, he dies. And we all say prayers and say, God bless you, and you're gonna have a wonderful adventure on the other side. But anyway, he dies. Okay, yay! Not that he died, but yay that he's, now he's going to have a great adventure. The other person is markedly different in that he has a clear picture of his purpose. Instead of just going along with the crowd or setting, settling for average, he knows what he's here for. He sets goals and works at reaching them. He is excited about the future and he has a reason to be positive. He lives life by choice, and not by chance. Instead of being a victim, he directs his own life and at every turn he is guided by his purpose. Instead of just getting through life, he excels at living it and he does so every day that he is here. And he doesn't die. <laughs> he didn't put that in here. <laughs> I'm not laughing at somebody dying. <laughs> The difference in the lives of those two people who once were equal began to take place the moment one of them made the choice to find his purpose and follow it. So do you get that um, that everyone lives happily ever after when they find their purpose? <laughs> it really does make a difference when you actually think about having a purpose or not having a purpose and just going aimlessly through life and and how it feels. And I know exactly how that feels um, I, I remember my, I had these eight years that my astrology daughter, Lynette, told me were fall, my fallow years in, in my chart, which is very interesting. Remember, we choose our, our astrological charts. We choose everything. 
We really do. And so how can it be wrong? Okay, again, this is the spiritual. Um, I'm, I'm speaking about our spiritual journey. And and our purpose is is part of our the the human experience and of the two legs that I choose that I teach in in practical spirituality. And so I, I point it out because here on planet Earth, I, you know, when, when we feel aimless and we don't know where we're going and we kind of get pushed and pulled with, you know, we're in that rudderless boat that I talk about a lot where the waves are just coming and hitting and you're going here and you're going there and, and you hope that you end up somewhere that's not too bad. <laughs> Instead of steering through and knowing exactly where you're going. And it's just like Dr. Shad's, uh, his example of these two people, these two men who are equal in almost every way, yet one just is in that rudderless boat going here and there, not really living life. And, and you might know someone like that and you might be like that. That's how I found myself for those eight years. I was just like, I was trying to get well a little bit, but I was, I was in a lot of pain and, and I just, it was mental, emotional, physical, like all kinds of stuff. But truly, I, it was a time when I was just getting pushed and pulled by life. Like I, I wasn't making, I didn't know what my purpose was. I was trying to, to figure out like, why am I here? Which, which is why I attempted suicide many times during those eight years. And, and because why was, why was I even here? Life just wasn't worth living. When I figured out, when I decided that I was going to live and, and I was going to live the most crazy, awesome, healthy life ever, like I made that, like that was my thing. And I tossed all my pharmaceutical drugs and, and I just, you know, and I started living and within, you know, once I went through all the, the detox and everything else, meaning, you know, from all the just different drugs and everything, just my whole system of all those pharmaceutical drugs and just, and, and a mind shift. Once I got through all of that, cause that my, my mindset was pretty toxic too. And it just started falling off of me, like all this stuff. And I started finding purpose and I started getting excited to get up every morning and, and figuring it because my purpose at that moment was to get healthy. And, and it was just the most amazing switcheroo ever. So I was no longer just drifting and aimlessly and, and, or, or anything. I, I just, I had found my purpose for that moment. And we have many purposes throughout life. And so don't think that you just have one single purpose, like your mother or your great pianist or your, you know, you, you need to serve, um, you know, what, whatever it is, whatever you're, whatever you're doing or you, that, that you, we have many, many purposes. I'm talking about this overarching purpose for why you're here. And, and you're here more than likely you, you want to help others. Like you want to do something to help others. You want to help yourself and you want to help others, or you want to do something that, that brings joy into your life. That's easy. And that is like something that is with ease. Like what I'm doing when I make these videos for you, it's so easy for me just to come and talk to you and just, and share, like share my stories or, or share, you know, uh, Dr. Shad's passage, a passage or, or just share my experiences or share what I teach for, with practical spirituality. And, and the reason it's so easy is because it's part of my purpose. My purpose is to uplift and, and help, help you a, a person who is positive and productive or wants to be positive and productive to live lo life by choice, not by chance. And, and to actually find your purpose, find out who and what you really are and move towards fulfilling your purpose, but living with purpose and feeling that purpose and being so excited to get up every day and say, do, 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 here I am world, do, do, do. And I am, and, and I'm here and I'm happy and it's, and, and you're, and you you look in the mirror. Remember we talked about mirror talk and <laughs> you look in the mirror and you're just like, you go girly, you go boy, oh, whatever you want, whoever you are, you know, and you just get very excited and, and you're able to look in the mirror and smile and, and know that 
you're on your path and it feels right, it feels good. And I'm not saying you're not going to have challenges in life. If you didn't have challenges, how would you ever grow? How could you ever be more expansive and, and learn and and have and set goals? Like, in, and he talks about setting goals. One, one of the two people set, you know, the guys, one set goals and achieve them and kept moving forward and moving forward. And the other just was in that boat where, you know, he just kind of lived this life that um, it just wasn't all a very exciting life. And it doesn't mean that you have to live an exciting life. It just means that when you actually think about what your purpose is and when you find your purpose, you have meaning in your life. It's like me after my eight years of being in bed almost every single day and, and having pain and having emotional and mental pain and thinking, why am I here? And, you know, it was kind of being the victim. Not wasn't kind of, it was being the victim of my circumstances. And, and I'm not saying that that's not, it, you know, I, when, when people talk about this kind of stuff, I think that every single one of us um, just needs to be a little bit very sincere about where where we're coming from and what and what we're talking about because the the drama triangle is something very very interesting when you're in it like how do you get out of that drama triangle when you're a victim of life and circumstances and and what happened when I stopped playing the victim playing that victim role that that, that I even though I was in a lot of physical pain with migraines and all the different things that I had going on because there was a lot and I've mentioned some of them before it doesn't really matter that's not the point the point is once I took responsibility for my life and said I'm going to get you know I'm gonna be crazy awesome healthy or I'm gonna die trying because that's what I said and and it's really funny because because after that I had a reason to live and I had purpose and I was so motivated and so inspired and every day it was harder than crap to get up like physically for a while. Um, you know, cause I went through a, a, a just even my, the pharmaceutical drugs for, for my epileptic seizures, those went down the toilet too. I'm so sorry for flushing drugs down the toilet. I always say that because I now I know where they all went <laughs> into the drinking water. So, uh, but anyway, that was the only way I knew what to do. I knew to do, and I didn't really understand everything then. I just needed to move forward. So my point in saying that is all of a sudden I had purpose. I had a reason to live and I had direction in life. And I wasn't, I was no longer in that boat without a rudder being pushed and pulled and all this kind of stuff. So that's the story and finding your purpose changes everything. That's why like today is so, this is such a good one for today. I hope it's not very dark. For some reason, yesterday and here I am again today. So in, in a little bit of the dark, but I think it looks pretty good. Is my mascara? Oh, there's a little bit. Oh, well, that's okay. Remember it's, it's organic and clean. I don't know if it's organic, but, <laughs> but it's definitely clean and doesn't have any glue in it. So it flies all over my face. Okay. So here is, so this is why I really want you to just love today's passage. Because when you, when you have purpose, it changes everything in your life. And I shared my story with you because it, all of a sudden I had direction, I had meaning and I knew where I was going. And the more I took that journey, the more that I looked for, searched for my purpose and I continue to just continue to I, like, I don't know if it wasn't until, you know, turn, getting into my, um, right before my sixties, but in my sixties and I'm 62 as we speak today and just getting it, it took me until all those years, like to figure it out. And, and it doesn't matter whether you're in your, your sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties, it, when you find your purpose, all of a sudden life is worth living and it's fun and and there's always something that you know you know where you're going you may not know exactly how you're gonna get there or exactly what it is like what you're trying to achieve but you know you know that you have meaning so this is why I really wanted to do this for you 
and every single day and just be there for you because when you find your purpose it's just such a different life your eyes are like doing even if you have mascara that runs down it your eyes are still doing very happy and um, and and excited for what could you can something could bring to your life so I'll read the passage one more time April 29th I don't just hope to find my greatest purpose and meaning I search for it I pursue it and I am determined to find it and bring it to life isn't that powerful now that you have the story of those those two different individuals and the story of me <laughs> for just that time and the best story of all is yours that's the best story because you're bringing you have meaning you have purpose you have direction and you have a wonderful life even though there are challenges that you're gonna climb up some hills and then you're gonna go just skipping down another hill hopefully it's not a really steep one like my mountain home because then you go falling and it's still fun you laugh as you come down it's you know it's just it's all in your perspective and your perspective is a picture of everything and it's all in your attitude and your attitude is your feeling about that perspective and about what's going on you get to choose it you are in charge you are in the boat with a fantabulously strong rudder that you get to steer wherever you want to go and hopefully you want to go towards fulfilling your purpose isn't that exciting <laughs> i love you so very very much oh you can do this i believe in you you absolutely can and as always coming to you live from the dark with traffic <laughs> it's Lenny <laughs> I love you so very very mucho and you are awesome and amazing and I will see you tomorrow hopefully with better light okay you cute people here I'll just let you see the backyard with little lights that my daughter put on the patio it's so cute isn't that beautimous I just love it I love it here look at her cute little couch here that she has we have to clean up back there but look how cute isn't it just the cutest She's so cute. Look, I'll show you her inside the house. Let's see. Oh, she hid. Never mind. <laughs> She's right there. She's I, I, <laughs> my very extroverted <laughs> daughter. <laughs> she ducked down, so that won't help you. <laughs> I love you so very, very much. We will chat tomorrow. Ciao.